Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Each week I like to bring in a different professional to talk about their business and explain a little bit about what it is that they do and give you some tips about their, their profession. And today I have Mike Callshed and Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? You know, I work with seniors um, to help them understand how to choose the right plan for their health care through Medicare. Um, I've been doing this for 38 years. I'm the owner of the Morshed Corporation and we specialize in helping seniors again understand Medicare. Okay. Well, I have a few years before I uh, hit that magic number, but uh, I've been, been doing some research and when really should somebody apply for it? You know, uh, seniors that are turning 65 need to start applying and they need to apply and a lot of people don't know this, but they need to apply through uh, Social Security. You can do that either Jeff online or they can make an appointment with the local Social Security office and be able to go down and start the enrollment process there. Okay Mike, so what, what if uh, they already are 65 and they have not actually applied? Well, this is what happens. When you do turn age 65, um, Medicare, Social Security will auto automatically enroll you into Part A. That's your hospital portion of coverage through Medicare. Um, you'll receive a red, white, and blue card with your Part A uh, on there along with the effective date of coverage, which is typically the first of the month of the month you were born in. So for example, if you're born in October, um, the effective date of coverage would be October the 1st of the year that you're turning 65. You don't have to apply for Part B if you're still employed. If you're actively at work and you have group coverage through your employer, you do not have to apply uh, for the second part of Medicare. So do I have to apply for Part A and B simultaneously? No, you don't. You can. Many seniors do. Uh, if you are turning age 65 and you want to apply for both parts of Medicare A and B, um, you can do so. The effective date would typically at that point be the same effective date. So let's go back to that October birthday. If I apply for Part A again, my effective date of coverage would be October 1st in the year I turn 65. If I also apply for Part B at that time, my effective date would still, uh, for Part B, would still be October 1st of the year that I turn 65. Just remember though, that when you do apply for Part B, there will be um, a cost. That cost uh, is established by Medicare. And if you're also collecting Social Security at the age of 65, that cost will typically be withheld from your Social Security income check monthly. If you uh, are employed and still on a group health plan, and you apply, let's say, at 67 or 68 for Part B because you've been actively employed and you're still on that employer group plan, then you can go back at the time that you retire. But remember, you want to have plenty of advance notice working with uh, Medicare to start obtaining your Part B so it coordinates on the date that you retire and that your uh, group health plan ends, you want that Part B coverage to uh, become effective at the same time that the group health plan terminates for your coverage. It's very important to do that. So at least 60 days prior, make sure that you have contacted Medicare and started to coordinate that. You will also at that time need a letter from your employer and the employers know about this, that does verify that you have uh, been actively covered under the employer group plan. You will need to present that to Medicare to prove that there's been no lapse in coverage and that even though you're 67 or 68 years old, that you've actively had what is called creditable coverage during that time. That's very important to have. Okay. So two questions come to mind, but we don't actually have time to go into it right now. But one thing I want to ask is, do you recommend any type of supplemental insurance? The plans that are available to seniors 
um, who are on Medicare and wish to add a supplement is the Medigap plan, also commonly referred to as a Medicare supplement plan. Those are offered by many different insurance companies. Um, the other plan that is available is the Medicare Advantage plan um, with prescription drug coverage, and those are also offered through insurance companies. The Medicare Advantage plans, um, you must live with in what is referred to by Medicare as a service area. That is typically within zip codes within certain counties. If you live outside that service area, then a supplement plan would more than likely be the best option for you to really consider. If you do go on the supplement or the Medigap policy plan, Remember, you will need to also at that time uh, enroll in a prescription drug plan called a PDP plan um, so that your outpatient prescription drugs will be covered. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of great information, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more. Uh, for you, those out there that are watching this, if you would like more information, feel free to contact Mike. I'll put up his uh, website at the end of this video. But if you would like to leave a comment, please do so below and we'll be happy to continue this conversation online if you'd like. That's it for this time. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.